What's going on? I'm Grizz and it's Blu-ray DVD update time. This is going to be my update for September and a little bit of October. Uh, I got a ton of uh, Scream Factory stuff, um, other horror, uh, Blu-rays, Funko Pop crap, and uh, a NECA figure as well. You know, the usual. Also repping the Dodger Blue. Game 2 of the NLCS tonight, baby. Kicking it off with my only DVD purchase of the past month or so. Got Valentine here, um, horror slasher film from the early 2000s, I believe. This came out in 2001. Obviously a horror film centered around Valentine's Day. Haven't seen this one since like it came out. Found this at FYE for a few dollars. I think it might even be out of print, but yeah, Valentine. Also picked up Vampires, John Carpenter's Vampires from Twilight Time. I thought this was already out of print because it wasn't available on Screen Archives for the, for like a couple months. And then I was on Facebook and Twilight Time announced that they only had a few hundred copies left and they lowered the price to $24.99. So I decided to pick it up before it skyrocketed on eBay. Badass film, James Woods, uh, I think it's Daniel Baldwin, killer in this film. Comes with a little insert here, discard. Does have some internal artwork. James Woods um, is a vampire hunter, and he and his uh, crew go around killing vampires, and then they come across uh, the first vampire, I believe, the master. So they, it's like their mission to kill this bastard. No real special features. Twilight Time doesn't really hook it up. They got a original like um, featurette that I watched, and then there's also an audio commentary by uh, John Carpenter. But yeah, vampires. This was on sale for like $9.99 on Amazon. Seven films for $9.99 plus the digital copies, so I had to had to pick it up. I figured that I'm not really losing out on much money with that. Uh, Saw the complete collection. I've seen I think the first three. Um, it's been a while, so for a cheap price, I figure I, I figured I'd pick it up and then uh, yeah, check them out in the month of October. These also recently went on sale, so I had to pick them up. A couple of documentaries on two huge horror franchises. Uh, I got Never Sleep Again. It's a like a four-hour documentary on the Nightmare on Elm Street uh, saga, as well as Crystal Lake Memories, another multiple-hour uh, documentary on the uh, Friday the 13th um, franchise. I haven't seen either of these. I know I know this one's available on Netflix, I believe. I just felt like they were essential for me to own. Can't wait to dig into these. Also got another John Carpenter film here, In the Mouth of Madness. Never seen this, so can't really speak much on it, but it's Carpenter. It's from uh, 1995. Can't wait to check it out, In the Mouth of Madness. Shout out to Nick D and the Cinema Scumbags. He was talking about this on one of their podcasts, and I was like, damn, I love that movie. I need to get it. Idle Hands on Blu-ray here. Haven't seen this one in a bit as well, but I, what I remember, good horror comedy. I uh, can't wait to crack open this Blu-ray and check it out this month. A couple of non-horror releases. Um, I got the remastered version of Purple Rain. I didn't own this one yet. Comes with a cool uh, purple case, obviously. Um, this soundtrack is amazing. I've only seen this movie, I think, one time. And I watched it online, so it was very grainy. But um, I did love it, and I can't wait to check it out, especially in this remastered version. Yeah, Purple Rain. I picked up a couple of those Best Buy exclusives. I got October Sky. Haven't seen this one since high school. Don't remember much about it. I think that him and his friends build bottle rockets or something. Um, need to check it out again. Also picked up The Ghost and Mr. Chicken. Just kind of a fun, you know, comedy from the 60s about uh, Don Knotts staying a night in a murder house. It's, it's kind of funny. Holds up a little bit. I, I, I'm a fan of 1960s comedies. It's one of my favorite decades for comedy. So, uh, yeah, this is a fun one. And then I also had to get the 30th anniversary of Labyrinth, one of my favorite films of all time. This is the cool Digibook ver version. Only $9.99, too, at Best Buy. Crazy, right? This also has, um, I think, a new transfer of the film, as well as a few special features that are new to this release. Uh, reordering time, looking back at Labyrinth, The Henson Legacy, Remembering the Goblin King, so probably a featurette on David Bowie, um, a Labyrinth Anniversary Q&A, and a theatrical trailer, along with, uh, I think those are probably previously released features. Also has a digital copy, so 
great deal for $9.99 with this cool artwork. I love this original like theatrical poster artwork. Awesome release. Got another like early 2000s slasher here, Urban Legend. I got this off Amazon for I think $14.99. I also thought this one was out of print, but it looks like they're, uh, they've been selling them again on Amazon. Cheesy slasher, you know, and coming off the hills of like Scream and stuff. That, you know, that 90s, early 2000s renaissance where uh, there was a few slasher films that came out. This is a fun one though. I uh, recommend people checking it out if they can. Picked up both of the recently released Vestron titles, Chopping Mall, love this film, and Blood Diner. Great, like, uh, slipcovers. Transfers are great on both of these. They also have uh, documentaries, like with interviews with cast and crew and stuff like that. So they're they're kind of expensive, but if you're if you're into these films, it's I would definitely recommend them. So yeah, Chopping Mall and Blood Diner. Shout out to Blu-ray Outlaw. Totally picked this up because of his recommendation. I know he loves this film, Krampus. This one was on sale, I think, for $9.99 at uh, Best Buy. Had the slip. Figured I'd pick it up. Haven't seen it yet. Uh, don't know what to expect, really. Um, I'm not sure if this is an anthology film or what, but um, I'll probably check this out during Christmas time. Another uh, 90s horror comedy, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You know, the original film that spawned television series, which I never really saw, but I was always a fan of this film, and I had to finally pick it up at a cheap price on Amazon. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Has a sweet cameo by P.B. Herman, too. Now we're getting into my Scream Factory haul here. Found this one at FYE for, I think it was like $12.99. The Howling 2. I've heard some mixed things about this. Um, people, some people say it sucks. But cool artwork nonetheless. Looks like it's got quite a bit of uh, special features for a non-collector's edition. Um, it's got two audio commentaries, um, an interview with uh, the, the main actor, um, interview with the main actress, Sybil Danning. Um, it's got interviews with special effects artists and a theatrical trailer and a still gallery. There's the disc artwork and then also reverse artwork. Pretty spooky. Looking forward to checking this one out. I'll probably do a double feature with the original um, before Halloween's over. Found these ones at FYE as well. Essentially got both of them for about $20 a piece, so not bad. The Tales from the Crypt films, Demon Knight and uh, Bordello of Blood. I believe these came out one year after each other, so I think this was 95 and 96. I was a fan of these back in the day. My cousin actually had both of these on VHS, so we would watch them uh, quite a bit. Demon Knight's good. Um, Decent cast. You got Jada Pickett Smith, Billy Zane, and William Sadler. Tons of cool like gore and stuff in there. Awesome slipcover. Two audio commentaries. Um, the making of Demon Knight. Panel discussion. Stuff like that. Here's the original uh, cover there. 90s throwback. My personal favorite of the two, Bordello of Blood. Um, great horror comedy about vampires who live in who live in a mortuary. It's like a whorehouse, um, but lots of nudity. Dennis Miller is great in this. After watching, there's a there's a there's a documentary on here with you know interviews from like the producer and Corey Feldman and some of the actresses. Apparently, uh, Dennis Miller was kind of a prick on this film, um, as was the chick from the chick from Baywatch. Corey Feldman didn't really get along with either one of them, but kind of a funny uh, documentary to watch. It seems like no one that was involved with this film, really cared for it. Um, but nonetheless, I really enjoy it. Like I said, Dennis Miller's hilarious in it, so I appreciate what he brought to the film. There's the uh, reverse. Collector's Edition, so yeah, we got audio commentary by a uh, co-writer and producer, Tainted Blood, The Making of Bordello of Blood, which is the documentary I was talking about, and a theatrical trailer, that's about it. Pretty decent releases. Um, I enjoy these films, so if you can Get them with the slips, definitely do so quick. Also picked up the Child's Play um, Collector's Edition. Reverse artwork there. Dig the original theatrical poster, so dope. Pretty great transfer on this. This is a two disc set, so there's tons of special features. I haven't watched any of them yet. Let's see, we got a new 2K scan. Looks like three audio commentaries and even Chucky has some commentaries on there. I don't think that's new though. It doesn't say new next to it. Tons of interviews and stuff like that. K 
killer release. I did get the deluxe edition because I'm a NECA fanboy, so I had to get that Chucky figure. Here he is. I'm keeping him in the box. Uh, here's kind of comparison in size. He's about the size of this Blu-ray case. A lot of people were unimpressed with uh, kind of the size of the whole package here, but I, I'm, I'm fine with it. It's a cool collector's piece. Also came with two posters, a sweet good guys poster that I will be framing up and putting on my wall. There was also another poster that, uh, same artwork as this slipcover. An additional slipcover, this one I was kind of interested in wanting because I thought it looked pretty cool. You know, I was gonna use it as my display piece for the, the film. There's nothing on the spine that says what the movie is. Like, I wish it would have said Child's Play on there. So it's kind of impractical. Cool artwork nonetheless, but really impractical. The Scream Factory Collector's Edition that I think everybody's been waiting for. The Thing. When I saw this was uh, getting released, I immediately threw my uh, Mondo Steelbook on eBay and sold that fucker. Because I, I wanted the supplements and the new... Um, I think this has a new 2K scan as well. I haven't checked out any of the special features yet, but um, I just watched this uh, last night. Transfer's great. Arguably the greatest horror sci-fi film ever made, in my opinion. I think the only film that would even contend with it would be Alien, the original Alien film. Loaded with tons of special features. Like I said, I haven't gotten the opportunity to check any of them out yet, but can't wait to. Awesome slip cover with new artwork, and then of course, the original Drew Struzan theatrical artwork, which is just, you can't beat that artwork. I was gonna show you the disc artwork, but it's still in my Blu-ray player. Here is the special feature disc. Like I said, tons of special features. The thing, must own. And then last, but certainly not least, as far as uh, Blu-rays and movies are concerned, this was on sale at Best Buy for $49.99. I had a $5 certificate, so I was just like, let me just bite the bullet and pick this up, finally. The um, Halloween box set. You know, obviously it's not the one I would like to have, but it's that thing's just too pricey. I already had the first three on Blu-ray. I plan on selling uh, plan on selling this thing on eBay. Might keep my uh, my other screen factories of part two and part three because I have the slip covers, and those are like two of my favorite um, screen factory releases. But actually, I haven't seen any of these past the th part three. I saw H2O like in theaters, but haven't seen either of the remakes, haven't seen Resurrection, haven't seen four and five and six. From what I've heard, they're not very good. I felt like as a horror fan, I needed to finally own this entire franchise. So yeah, picked up this one. Lastly here, I picked up a couple of Funko Pops, Hot Topic exclusives. These were the blind box um, exclusives that they came out with. I just picked them up on eBay because I don't care for buying a bunch of blind boxes just to get the, the two that I want. I pay a little extra, but oh well. Um, had to get Jason Voorhees, obviously, the Roy figure. Pretty awesome. If you saw my last video, I picked up uh, the Alex DeLarge figure from Clockwork Orange. So they have the masked version of him. I figured it was going to be an exclu exclusive, and it was. He was the Chase figure as well, so he's a little bit more limited. Really awesome. Had to get him. There's the other there's the other one which I also have up on my shelf with a few other uh clockwork orange figures so he's gonna go great finally complete the set of you know the recent uh, Funko um, clockwork orange figures that they put out so had to complete it that'll do it guys quite a bit of stuff hope you guys stuck through the entire video but uh yeah go Dodgers